First Warning Weather with meteorologist Natalie Stoll. Let's take a live look outside right now in San Marcos this evening. This is at the Chuck Nash Chevy Buick GMC uh, along I-35 there. Just a few clouds stretched across the area. It actually looks pretty from this web camera. You can check it out online. Temperature-wise, not too bad for this time of day compared to what we've seen recently. 99 in San Marcos right now. A little bit cooler up in Georgetown. 97 degrees there. 95 in Fredericksburg. Here in town, 101 degrees. A little bit hotter. By 8 p.m., we'll dip into the mid 90s, 10 p.m. tonight, low 90s. Those clouds we see now will start to taper off by the 10 p.m. hour. Mostly clear, a 90 or 101 out of Camp Mabry, 99 out at the airport with a few more clouds. Winds are light, kind of all over the place for the time being. Mold today still in that high category, but a little bit less than yesterday. And across the state, we've seen early morning cloud cover. It only lasted about an hour and then moved out of the area. Plenty of sunshine this afternoon. Conditions again pretty quiet, but we're tracking some changes now in the Gulf. That disturbance that we've been talking about for several days now has made its way into the central Gulf, likely to impact portions of Louisiana with some heavy rain. It has an 80% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone, a tropical depression within the next two days. Something we're watching very closely. Now, the forecast models, though, are kind of all over the place as far as where they're going to take this system. So we have a couple of options. One of them will take it right. Right along the Texas coast. Unfortunately, either of these situations not really going to increase our rain chances because this southern uh, direction will keep it just off the coast, keeping the best rain chances along the coast, not here in central Texas. The other one takes it up through Louisiana and back into Alabama, bringing much of that wet weather there, keeping it away from central Texas. So either way, our rain chances don't look good. Let's go hour by hour, though, through the next uh, 24 hours. Tonight, you could see a few low clouds develop by early on your Friday morning, but it's going to be another hot afternoon. We'll actually see mostly sunny skies for your Friday. A few passing clouds and that small chance for rain not going to move in until your Sunday and Monday of this holiday weekend. All right, tonight, here's what we can expect temperature wise. In the Hill Country, we're looking at the mid to upper 70s. In the metro area, mid 70s, same along our eastern counties. And for tomorrow, a temperature is similar to what we saw today. Most areas right around 100 degrees. So not everybody will hit that triple digit mark, but the larger cities most likely will. That includes here in the Austin area. And of course, this weekend, a big football game at UT. Uh, we have kickoff right around 97 degrees, halftime down to about 93. And by the end of the game, temperatures will dip into the upper 80s, expecting dry conditions through this entire time period with partly uh, clear skies. Tonight in Austin, here's what you can expect. 76 degrees for tomorrow by the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, 101. That's pretty much where we were today. But our flow is going to be out of the north now. A little bit drier air moving in from that direction. Saturday, 101 again. Sunday, 100 degrees with maybe a few more clouds. Keeping a 10% chance in for both Sunday and Monday. That looks pretty optimistic at this point. So most of us, if not all of us, are going to stay dry through your holiday into next week, we'll see temperatures uh, drop back into the mid-90s as we're tracking a cold front that's going to be working in from North Texas.